Hi, I want to make a referral system using data signing with a crypto wallet. Let's go. I have a template app with a function already to connect to a wallet. So first things first, let's uh, write a function to sign some data. Metamask has a nice example here and we can just straight up copy and paste. Okay, so the whole point of this standard is so that the user can see what data they are signing with their private key because previously the data would be in hexadecimal so if i connect my wallet when i go to sign uh, here we are presented with the data to be signed which is what is in this data structure and the way that the wallet knows which data structure to display this parameter primary type and here we've got primary type the value is male so if we go down to the types we see that one of the keys in this data structure for types is male and here we've got the data structures from to and contents and then if we look at the wallet we've got contents from and to so if i wanted to make my own data structure so i'm going to have code okay so now i've updated this mail type structure to just have a parameter name of code and a type of uint256. So now if I call this function again, there we have just code and 322 shown because I updated this part. To retrieve uh, an account address from a signed bit of data in a in a Solidity contract, we will be using this function EC recover, uh, which we requires these parameters, which are associated with the cryptography. Some of the Web three functions return these values, but this function doesn't. So we need to derive it. There's a metamask blog post which details this data signing standard eip 712 and that shows us how to get these values r s and v which we required so i'm going to take this paste that into my code So now when I sign the data, I'm going to log to the console. These values are S and V, which will be required to pass as arguments to the smart contract function, which will then drive the public key from the signature, thereby proving that you signed the data. So next we need a smart contract which implements this function to which we will pass those derived values. Okay, so I've debugged and fleshed out the contract. So let's run it. So I've got get referral and what this function does is uh, creates a hash and takes the last byte and then does that in a loop four times to create a uh, pseudo random number which then assigns it against an address in this mapping. 
So in the response here, we've got the referral code and then I can check to see how many times it's been signed. Here it says zero times and pulling data from this structure, which is mapped to the referral code. Let's go to my UI. Um, I added a couple of inputs and a button. So let me sign this referral code with another test uh, wallet test account sign. Uh, that's my signed data. Then I can go back here, paste that in, submit that. Um, and there we've got a successful signing. Switch to the UI, which is now linked up to the contract, which has been deployed on the uh, Ethereum testnet. Connect get referral code, which makes a call to the contract. Here's my referral code. So call this function structure of data shows that it hasn't been signed yet. So now change accounts and sign that referral code. And then once it's been signed, submit it to the contract that goes to uh, this function, which recreates the hash data and then calls EC recover. So now again, get this structure and we'll see a count of one. To use the EC recover function in Solidity, uh, we basically need to recreate the data within the contract and then um, compare it with the VRS values which were derived from the signed data outside of the contract. So if you look at the documentation for the EIP 712 standard, uh, you will see how to recreate the data. Basically you need to make a function header. So this will be the primary type key in the data structure and these will be the um, argument names and argument types in the type data structure. And then you pack it together and hash it all. And you do the same for the domain data. And then you prefix it with hex 1901. Uh, so here we've got the, the name and then you've got the argument uh, types and argument names as defined in the type data structure back in the web three. And then you do the same for your primary type data, and then you pack it all together. And then you call the EC recover function with that generated hash and the pass VRS values. So there we have a working referral system in a smart contract, which could be used in a treasury contract to entice new members to a community.